Hello everybody and welcome back to some more uh, Fiend Folio. We're jumping in again. I'm going to do an Eden run here just because I kind of want to. Uh, I realize we did an Eden one recently, but I feel like they can be pretty fun. Um, I was kind of so talking about it so towards the end of the last episode. Um, Bob's Rotten Head and the Temper Tantrum, pretty decent. Also, I think that key is the one that gives us unlimited keys for the whole run. Very happy with that. Um, but yeah, I was in the end of the last episode, I was kind of talking about some future plans for the channel, what's happening at 10k, what we're going to be doing with Isaac and asking for some suggestions. So for the question of the day, in case any of you didn't um, see that question or didn't answer it, I'll put it at the start of this video. What would you like to see next in Isaac? That is the question of the day. What would you like to see next? I realize some of you may have answered this yesterday, but I'd like to... Um, Ask the question to the broader audience and people that maybe may have been asleep at that point and didn't hear about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, what's um, what's what, what would you like to see next with Isaac? Because there's definitely a few options we could take. I kind of uh, spoke about the idea of just starting a completely fresh save file, like no mod, no modded unlocks, no vanilla unlocks, going straight from zero. That could be a lot of fun. Ow, that was really stupid. Um, but there's also we could we could do like. Isaac no longer has movement momentum. Oh, that is weird. I don't like that. <laughs> the movement momentum is like, you need it. It doesn't feel right without it. Um, Yeah, uh, so I'd, I'd like to hear your opinion. Or like, I could do something where I do sort of like, one deleted run, one random run, one Eden run, and then cycle between the three so we get like a little bit of a variety. Um, And then we can have like an Eden streak going at the same time as other stuff. I don't know. I'd really like to hear your guys' uh, feedback and see what would make people happy because I really want to spice up Isaac a little bit um, in the new year and um, for the 10k of my channel. But I want to I wanna do what's right. I want to do what people enjoy. And if people are really enjoying it, it is like what we're doing right now. I don't want to go changing things too drastically. I still want to change some things up, but I don't want to... How do I fart here? Like I'm, I'm glowing red, but I'm not farting. Okay, no. It's just timed. I see. Good, good. We got some good stuff. Right. Depending on the boss, we should absolutely annihilate him with Bob's Rotten Head here. Um, I was talking to someone in my Discord recently that's been playing the 3DS version of Isaac, which is unfortunately still on Rebirth. Um, and they were like, oh, I just got Bob's Rotten Head. And I'm like, oh my god, that's so good. That's going to be insane. And then I realized that on Rebirth, it actually isn't that good. Um, <laughs> yeah, on, uh, on Rebirth, Bob's Rotten Head, what, it, it's, like, pretty good, um, trigger a random on damage effect, okay, um, it's, like, pretty decent, uh, in terms of just being an item, because it allows you to essentially have a few extra free, um, bombs every floor, um, one second... Yeah, it gives you like a few free extra bombs every floor, and it does do a little bit of damage, but it doesn't leave the poison cloud, and it doesn't deal anywhere near the damage that it deals in Repentance. And Repentance, it got a huge buff, and also, I think it was a three-room charge rather than a two-room charge. I can't remember exactly. I might be wrong on that, but I feel like it was a, um, I feel like it was a three-room charge, wasn't it? Um, and yeah, just all, all of that combined just made it significantly worse than it is, um in Repentance. In Repentance, like, I feel like it was one of those items that got buffed that loads of people didn't catch on to. Ooh, damn, we need to be careful we don't lose our soul hearts here. But yeah, I think a lot of people didn't catch on to the buff for quite some time, actually. Um, and it led to, um, it led to people still passing it up over other actives. But I actually think it's, it's comparable to, like, a Tammy's head sort of thing. Like, it's, it, in fact, I'd, I'd maybe say it's better than Tammy's Head. Like, obviously, Tammy's Head is a one-room charge, which gives it the edge. But, with this, you get the, um... One second. Let me just focus on killing these guys. Um, with this, you get the edge of it being utility as well. It's also renewable bombs. It's got multiple different uses. Um, okay, we've got a few of these fire guys. I think the fire guys die when the big dude dies. I can't remember. Oop, I walked directly into that fire. No, they don't. Okay. I always forget if that's true or not. Anyways, let's go straight and do the boss now. Just because we can do that. You see? That is incredible. We're going to go devil deal here. Um, Let's... Uh, so, let me just check something. Okay, cool. It is the item I thought it was. I was just checking to see if we had the... Um, 
Oh, we got temper tantrum prox. I think it's like a 17% chance on hit for that to trigger. Something like that. I can't remember the exacts. But yeah, we, we essentially have unlimited keys with this setup. That was bad. I missed. But I managed to get this, which is a tears up. I have unfortunately been hit. And I've died. Wow. Wow. Skill issue. I've told you guys before that unfortunately, whenever I um whenever I come back from a trip. All my Isaac skills go out the window. I take like three days off and my, my, my entire fucking Isaac skill just decimates. Anyways, we got the chasm here. Destroys all items in the room and gives the user a 10% chance to deal 2.6 damage. No bonus for destroying over 10 items. We got estrogen up. Destroys all. That doesn't sound good to me. But we'll give it a go. Also, we got the uh, Pegatory Ghosts, whatever they, these are called. I can't remember the name of this item. The estrogen up that we just got is both good and bad. Uh, because we just lost all of our red health. But, at the same time. Can you, like, get somewhere where you're not behind another enemy? Thank you. Yeah, we just lost all of our health. But, at the same time, we've gained a significant amount of extra damage to work with here. So, that's pretty good. Um... So it, I'm confused. It didn't destroy that bomb. I'm going to have to work out how this works. Because the description might not be as clear as I'm thinking. Because... Maybe it means actual items, not consumables. They use it to deal 2.6% damage. Hmm, so maybe the idea is any item I don't like, as in like actual item, I use Chasm on, and it gives me a 10% chance to massively increase my damage, which seems very low, but pretty interesting. It depends how many bad items we get, really, uh, to how often we want to use this. Like, this would have been a perfect time to use it. Do not steal my charge, because this is a perfect time to use it. What did I just say? If we can get another charge for this, which we should be able to get, then we can destroy that item. And it might actually be better than I thought. We'll see if that's it. this is how it works. But it's the fact that it says to deal 2.6 times damage. It, it, it probably should say to get 2.6 times, times damage, or to multiply your damage by 2.6 times. Oh, wait. I didn't actually charge it there. I'm a fool. <laughs> I said that right as so I picked up a fool card. Maybe I subconsciously knew it was a fool card. Maybe I'm just magic. Maybe it was a random coincidence. Who knows? Got a lot of money this floor as well, which is rather nice. So it did destroy that item. Okay, so I'm going to hazard a guess and say that is exactly how it works. 10% seems to be a very low chance. Uh, we've got... Significantly increases tier size. This just gives us a black heart and makes our wisps better. I'm probably going to take it just for the black heart, I'll be honest. Um, and yeah, it making wisps better is kind of nice. I uh, I don't think it affects uh, our little dudes at all, our clots. I think they are completely separate entities as they should be. But you never know with this game. Some things can appear different than what they are. The sun. I think I'll save the sun for the next floor. But yeah, we're doing a lot of damage here. Our clots are going to last quite a while because I have the, the mod that makes it so clots don't die over time. Which is really, 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 really overpowered with this pill, as I've found out. Like, insanely so. Good, good. Um, I can't afford a battery or anything. That's fine. This is going to be interesting. This, this could be a cool run. This could be a cool run. Yeah, Chasm seems... It seems to be like a bit of a waste of an active slot, but on purpose. It's meant to feel like a waste of an active slot. Uh, that's just butt penny. Um... 25... I always forget it gives you a 20% higher chance for coins to spawn from poops. It's pretty worthwhile.
Get out of here. And these wisps should last a good amount of time as well. Because, um... Because we uh, have the doubled health thing going on. So that's kind of nice. So these wisps and the clots should last a considerable amount of time here. Go, oh, my ghosty friends. Oh my god, the way they all jumped in unison there. That was beautiful. Right, check this out. That is definitely an item that I want. I'm sorry to say, game, but it, it is. Definitely an item I want. But there is going to be plenty of items that I can throw away here. Oh, this is going to definitely cause some lag, I think. With the clots about, but we're going to have to deal with it, I think. The extra damage we gain from it is too good. And the synergy potential is too good. Yeah, we're getting a lot of coins from poops. That 20% is procking often. Okay, beautiful. Need another bomb for that. The ghosties there doing a good, good job. Need bombs for everything, to be honest. There's loads of places we could use bombs. Got a secret room availability. We got tinted rocks. There's a key back here that I should probably grab. Yeah, so maybe I'll, um... Oh, hello. There's also a door. There's just so many things to use bombs on right now. This game's been kind of rude to me. All these things and no actual bombs to use. Upsetting. Goddamn, the damage we're outputting right now is pretty, pretty awesome. Hey, B-Book. Right. You have been defeated. Me. I will take me just because I want to maybe make a devil deal work. We can power up our dagger. And we can get Abaddon. I'll take it. I think that's a pretty good start there. No goddamn bombs for us. So let's just leave. Yes, right, so I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I hope everyone's doing good library here. Library here is pretty awesome. I could... I could get... um, What's it called? Thingy book, bookworm for two keys. But I'm just going to do this. Unfortunately, not a single one of those gave us the damage up, which is a little, a little sad. It just, it is what it is. That's just gonna be how it is sometimes, I think. I don't know where these red shots, these sort of blue red shots are coming from. I don't know what's causing those. They are a little funky. Yeah, I don't exactly know where they're coming from. We'll try and pick up the red gems when we can, but it's not of super importance. Good, good. Another one to delete. Yeah, it's... It's a weird item. I feel like 10% is is really low. That's, that, that's a mid, like... Sort of an average of 10 items that you're going to have to delete to get this damage up. And it is a pretty, pretty hefty damage up. But removing 10 items out of a run, I I realized that I just got 5 in one fell swoop there. But that doesn't happen often. So it, it, it's going to be pretty tricky to get that many on average. Like, I suppose it's one of those items that you're not always supposed to get the proc out of. But I'd maybe up it to like 20% or something. And maybe, maybe have it where it can only proc once. Although maybe that'd make it too strong. I don't know. It, it seems reasonably balanced. It just seems seems a bit crazy. Another key there. We'll go back and get that. Now, I don't know what's giving us these reddish shots. Bluish shots even. They're already red. You fool. Good, good. Get my gems. I love the sound of the gemstones. The sound is so perfect. 
We got perfection, we'll definitely be taking that. And we'll be picking that up as well. And skedaddling, skadoodling, I think. But yeah, this is this is a weird one. This is an interesting run. I'm really like curious to see when Kesem will end up proccing. I hope we get a proc out of it this floor. We have Kes the blind here, so I'll probably just use Kesem. I really like the sprite for Kesem, by the way. The sprite for it's really cool. I guess I could try and get a payout out of one of them and suck that up. It'd have to be the fortune teller, though, obviously. Extra key there. There is a specific noise to indicate when your daggers have leveled up. I also just forgot that we have um, a lot of extra uh, drops coming in because of the insane amount of luck we've gained. This, guy, this boss could be a little difficult, but for the most part, it isn't too bad. There you go, we got the level up. Take that. Still didn't get anything out of that. Oh heck, oh heck, oh heck, oh heck. Right, out we go. And away we go. Yeah, still no chasm for us. We'll get it eventually, I'm sure. Ooh, we got another estrogen up. I don't think that does anything if we don't have any red hearts, though, so there's not much point in picking it up right now. Oh, God. Those guys are firing a lot. I gotta remember that I don't really have anything protecting my, um, my perfection trinket apart from these clots. The reason I got it is the clots, though, definitely, so hopefully that should be enough, but we could lose it at any moment if we're not paying attention. I need to try and safeguard it a little more than I currently have been, because I've really been playing it fast and loose. I've not been playing it like I have perfection at all. Uh, we'll buy whatever the cheap item is. Mum's coin purse. Not exactly a great item. Unfortunate. If I'd had the um, spacebar item ready, I could have just spammed the spacebar. Interesting of you to blow all those up for me. Thank you. And we'll see. Do I, I don't know. Do I want to suck up my item room as well? It's probably a risky idea, but I really, 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 really want to proc this to get the huge damage up. I feel like it just... It makes the most sense. Also, we got a free thingy room here that's broken. Thank you. Double black hearts. Very worth it, especially when it literally cost us nothing. And we didn't even have to visually find it either, it just did it itself. It's literally free real estate. Got all the gemstones there. Good thing is as well, these little ghosties can attack things for us so we don't have to risk our HP at all. We don't have to risk getting hit on perfection. <clears throat> right. Keep her moving. Keep her grooving. Hey, another rank up for our dagger. It's gone gold now. Free item there. Devil's Harvest. I don't know what that does. I'll take it there. So I think I want to pick it up and then Siren's Call's good. We'll keep that. But yeah, I think what I want to do is I want to be picking it up and then using the active if it's bad. Because you can suck stuff up while it's above your head. So I actually get to see what it is first. Eternal Heart there. Love the new visual for Eternal Hearts. So we've also got a ton of money. I think we should go back to the shop and buy the other shop item. And do the same trick I was just talking about. Uh, if the item's bad. If the item's not something that we want to keep. Then we suck it up. But we're definitely uh, encroaching on 10 items now though. So I'm really hoping that because of that we, we get our prop pretty soon. I don't want to go the whole run and not get it. That would be a little bit upsetting. But... I suppose there's always a chance it could happen. Um, one second, after we do this, I just need to take a quick pause. Um, what the hell? Yeah, I'll suck that up. Not an item I particularly need right now. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to take a quick pause here, and I'll be back soon. 
I am back. Let's continue onwards. Oh my god, I got really, like, I've been away for like 10 minutes. I got really confused by this snake thing then for a second. Because I thought my clots had just become this sentient blob and started flying around the room. And I was like, what the hell? Clots, how did you gain this power? But turns out it's just another item that I have. Anyways, let's continue onwards. Let's continue onwards. Things are going reasonably well in our run here. Things are going reasonably well. I'm taking this pill. I'm glad I took it right there. Um, yeah, sorry, I just have to go and do some work stuff. I'm, I'm recording earlier in the morning than I normally would, just because I kind of felt like I was ready for it. I feel like sometimes I'm, like, really up and ready for a recording, and other times I'm not. I tend to find that, like, if I've had, a de uh, like, a, a few days break from recording, I'm always, like, so much more sort of ready and energetic to start recording, which is kind of obvious, really, if you think about it. Um, oh, my lord. These fellas are going to wreck everything that's around. Okay, good. Holy hell. That's a lot of explosions. Yeah, I'm always sort of like more raring to go and ready to record. And because uh, I've been away, I've basically eaten away all of the backlog that I had. Because um, obviously I, I wasn't recording during the days I was away. So now I need to slightly rebuild that. Um, need to slightly rebuild that. Backlog, so it's good to get a good amount of recording done when I get back. Da, da, da. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ooh, the brimstone guys look different. They look really cool. God damn, the, the amount of ghosties that the guys spawn is just incredible. Okay, we got a chasm back. Ah, okay, I thought I'd have to kill the skull guys as well, but they were like one in the same. We have a really, really strong run here. We're kind of wrecking. But yeah, I definitely think I want to wanna do more Eden runs. Everyone loves a good Eden streak. I know that, um, I didn't actually know this for until like the other day, but I've seen that Tyler's uh, just rebooted his Eden streak, which is really cool to see. I know he's not doing it super regularly. It's not like a daily series for him or anything. Um, but uh, Alexa hadn't, um, hadn't done any Isaac for about six or seven months, I don't think. He, I think he just kind of burnt out on it. I've spoken to him about it a little, a little bit. And yeah, it seems like he's rebooted back up his series a little bit, which is pretty cool to see. Let's see if we can get any cool items here. Um, that's actually pretty decent. We could take that if we get the money for it. I probably should have just bombed it rather than spending money, but we're, we're getting a good amount of money back, so I reckon we'll get enough for it eventually here. Boop, 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 boop. As I've said before, this music just sticks in my head. This is only Necro 1, so we'll go do the boss now. It's good old bloaty bloat. Bloaty McBloat face. Not too tough at all, are you, fella? Ooh, golden flakes. That's another 10 look for us. Beautiful. Uh, also, we got a golden key out of it, too. Yeah. The fact that it makes your hell trinket gold is definitely the best thing about it. Um, also, adding the golden hearts is pretty nice, but honestly... Ooh. Getting up to 20 luck here. I don't know how... I don't really know what 20 luck does for us right now. I don't know if it's much. But still. Crawl space. Lovely. It's a black market. Even lovelier. It's just a penny. Right. Anything much that we want here? I think we definitely want champion belt. Good. Don't. I think we'll just take Champion Belt and be on our way. Ooh, what was that gulping sound then? It sounded like I gulped a trinket, but I definitely didn't. I'm not quite sure where that gulping sound came from. I'll take it though. Yeah, Champion Belt, rather nice. I feel like Champion Belt's one of those things where the downside like isn't even a downside. More champions is kind of a good thing if you know how to handle them. Rogue Planet. I love Rogue Planet. I really do. But I think it's a bad idea for this run, so let's chasm it. And it didn't even give me the damage up. How rude. I'm really, really hoping it procs at some point. We've basically got one more floor for it to proc, essentially. Because after that point, we're going to be getting items a lot less often. And probably I'll be a lot less likely to want to get rid of them. And also as well, I, I kind of want to get it before... We get onto the womb, so it's actually of use. If it doesn't proc at all, 
I'm going to be putting in my formal complaints, I swear. One second. Right, continue onwards. God damn, sorry, I'm getting all the messages at the moment. Let's carry on. Oh, we're going to have to do some funky stuff at work now because someone's majorly balled something up. Sorry that it's interrupting this beautiful Isaac episode. But that has stressed me the hell out. Oh my god, someone has made an incredibly idiotic decision that went completely against everyone else's opinion. And it has essentially screwed us. So that's going to be a real fun time working that out. We also got a planetarium here. Wasn't expecting that. And it's a beautiful one at that as well. That is truly something magical. I love that. Right, one second. Sorry about this, guys. God damn. Oh, putting out fires. Very annoying. Very annoying indeed. That's a second question of the day. What is someone in your job fucked up royally and pissed you off? <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's actually really annoyed me. I'm not going to give exact details, but essentially we are trying out a new service for um, for some for a potential new avenue of business. And we found a potential client for this for this uh, service. And um, the in in like once the product is up and running and ready, we were going to be able to offer both streaming and recorded video to them of these events. Um, and we agreed for this first test version, if they accepted, which they just have, that we'd only offer recording. And someone has gone and offered them streaming. And we can't really do streaming for this one because we ain't even nearly ready for it. But they've offered it to them and they've accepted. So now we're kind of fucked because we have to go back on our word with the client. God damn, what I... Oh, oh God, I'm... I haven't been this mad in a while. <laughs> like, this could screw everything up for us. Because, basically, this event that we might be, li that, that, we, that this person's agreed to live stream now, is kind of a make or break for us. We have to get this right, because if we get this right, the people we're working with will potentially, or slash hopefully, work with us in the future. And that could be a lot of, and a lot and a lot of work coming our way, which would be super, super useful. Um, and now he's just interjected an insane amount of risk into it. And we could backstep and tell the client that no, we won't stream it. But if they then say, oh, well, we don't want it then, then we're in, even wor in an even worse position. So, yeah, this is not good at all. Very, very good item. Um... Kind of an interesting room design here. I've got a... There it is. I'll find the right button. Do, 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 do. Oh, balls! <laughs> I didn't even think about those enemies. I just lost 20 luck. That was really idiotic of me. Sorry, I'm just in a, in a heated rage right now. I can't focus on the game very well at all. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's this is. Oh boy, this could have screwed us so massively. Why did I buy that? Okay, I bought it to do that. That's why I bought that. Still haven't got the fucking damage yet either. That's also annoying me to no end. Give me my goddamn damage. I've sucked up so many goddamn items. I am owed this. You know it, game. You know I murdered this. We are dealing hella damage right now. It's kind of crazy. We do have boss rush available. I'm going to take the Polaroid here. Should have got a charge ready for this. I don't think we want to go boss rush here. Oh god, I'm gonna have to go fucking part of fire straight after this. This is
Oh my god. Basically, I've just told them off for fucking it up, and they've just gone, oh, let's just talk about it in today's call. No, fucking sort it out. And now to talk about. Fix it. <laughs> Undo. Oh. I don't get mad very often. Especially not on this channel. Like, I get mad at Isaac sometimes, but that's just, that's just kind of like, pseudo anger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like angry in the moment, but it's not real anger. This is real anger. I'm actually very annoyed. <laughs> god damn, that's a lot of uh, gemstones. Oh god, I'm kind of seething here. This is not the right mindset to be playing Isaac in, because I am... Oh, that was stupid. I am very fucked off right now. This is going to be a very hard mistake to fix. Potentially. I mean, it, it, it might just be the case that we return back to the people we're going to work with and suggest, hey, we can't stream it, let's record it. But the fact that we've already technically offered uh, streaming and they've accepted streaming really, really annoys me. God damn it. Yeah, so we're going to have to see how this ends up pan ends up panning out. But I reckon my boss is, he's, he's American, so he's not awake yet. He'll be awake in another few hours, probably four or five hours. But I reckon when he hears about this, he is not going to be, dude, can you get out the way, you teal motherfucker? I reckon when he hears about this, he is going to be very unhappy. <laughs> this is going to be a rough day for this dude. Like a really rough day. Apparently, also, like, I I've been I've been away all weekend. Um, we don't normally work on the weekends very often, but there was this um, event that cropped up on the weekends, that uh, this, this, like, racing thing that uh, that someone wanted us to, to do, and my boss agreed to it. So uh, the guy I work with and this person that messed something up also was working on it, and apparently it didn't go to plan. I, luckily, I wasn't involved because uh, I was on holiday. But um, apparently some of the, some of it didn't go to plan, and it was, it may have been this particular person's fault. I don't know yet, but it may have been. So if that was his fault, and this was, oh boy, that doesn't bode well. Oh, God damn. Ruined my mood on my Isaac run. How could you? God damn it. Also, stop giving me good items, game. I want items that I can suck up and try and actually utilize this item with. Apparently, that's not plausible. I was wondering if you could freeze the um, freeze the enemies that are technically invincible, but you cannot. I didn't think you'd be able to, but I was curious to see. Our ability to freeze power is kind of crazy. Also, I like the fact that literally not a single one of our clots has died. <laughs> we literally got it in the very first room of the game. And not a single clot has died yet. With this mod on that stops them from decaying over time, this pill is insanely overpowered. It's actually ridiculous how overpowered it is. Dude, Teal Boy, die. A lot of gemstones there as well. Oh, I'm loving the ice here. Just it's just eviscerating things. Just eviscerating. We are speeding through these floors though, which is good. Okay, luckily no double laser eyes. Sometimes it spawns the, uh, the, the, the knights rather than the eyes. I like that a lot more. We did lose one of the clots, apparently. Anyhow. 
up we go. Yeah, I think at this point we um we have lost the chance to utilize our active in a decent way. A little bit of a shame. I I, I definitely think that the 10% chance is is kind of kind of low. But I also do kind of agree with it. I, I I'm torn. Because in in one half, a 2.6 times damage multiplier is crazy. Oh, there was an item in there I can get. Um a 2.6 times damage multiplier is pretty crazy. And um, that's like a um the same multiplier that um you get from Sacred Heart, but having to sacrifice a minimum of 10 items, well, not a minimum, but like an average of 10 items to get it, and then I've gone over 10 and still not even got it. It's just like, ugh. Like, I guess it's all luck-based, but maybe up until like 15 or 20% could could be a little more beneficial, but then, it, then I don't want it to be too easy to get because then it's pointless. It's not but it is still taking up an active slot and you it is still only a chance, so... I suppose if you can proc it multiple times, it's pr probably pretty overpowered. But if you could just proc it once, then I think it would work. Two soul hearts. Sadly, not the payout we were looking for, but I'll take it. Alright, let's hope we're going the right way here. With our freezing power, we're kind of stomping through here. Not sure what hit me there, but I will accept it. I love the enemies that have like a, a something that happens when they die, but if you freeze them, it's just like nah. Doesn't matter. Ooh, that's an interesting little fly there. We got another level up on our dagger. Our dagger's really getting kind of crazy. Managed to get a lot of level ups on it. Yeah, and went the right way as well, which is lovely to see. Okay, good to go. It's time to destroy you. Yeah, okay, so we have lost a good amount of our damage here because we've just lost, like, all of our clots. That's definitely where partially the struggle is coming from. I didn't realize we'd, like, lost all of our clots. Because it is crazy how, like, much worse this run is without those clots. It's still a decent run, but it was, like, godly with them. And now we've lost them, it's kind of like, it's just okay. It's just okay. Goes to show why the estrogen up pill is, is nutty. I mean, like I said, the part, the part of the reason is I've got that mod. Well, this is interesting. I think we'll take Dr. Fetus and we'll take Technology. Um, and then the rest of these will suck up. Ooh, I forgot we had, um... I forgot we had uh, the Dr. Feet Synergies mod on, so we've actually got a Synergy with Tech now. And of course, we've got Cricket's Body as well, which has its own Synergy. Awesome. Is this room not over yet? Or is this room over? Okay, this room is over. Good. But yeah, this is a really cool Synergy. Do I've got a mod, like a collection of mods actually. One that adds its synergies to Dr. Fetus, one that adds it to Epic Fetus, one that adds it to, I'm not sure, Spirit, uh, Spirit Swords, the other one. Wow. We need to be careful of our current HP, it's not, it's not great. Quickly duck back in here. Excuse me, what the fuck hurt me then? I didn't see anything land on me. I want to be shooting the... the bombs past them. And doing the laser damage. The amount of fire in this room is lagging my game like fucking crazy. I, want it, I don't know what it is about these weird red fires, the ones that glow red. But they, they hurt your FPS so much more than regular fires. Look at that laser. The laser damage is beautiful. Okay, I'm hurting myself a lot with bombs here. 
How come the bombs aren't like shooting straight sometimes? It's really frustrating. Okay, we got it, we got it. That was a really fun run towards the end there. The last two items really made it. Sad that the chasm never fucking worked for us. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.